Okay, now we are going to solve practice problem 5.9 and my name is RD. So the question is determine determine V0. V0 is the output of this circuit, the voltage, and then I0. I0 is the current that passed through this 50 kilo ohm resistor. So the circuit looks complicated, but this is actually very simple circuit. Let let we let us see. Let us see. And for reminder, when we have op M, we always had these properties. So in the input terminal, the voltage A and voltage B will be the same. So VA is equal to VB. And then the current that going in into the op M, so this is IA and this is IB, is equal and that will equal to zero. And then let's start. And when, whenever we have op M circuit, we always use nodal analysis. So we will use KCL at every node. So first, let's see what we have first. First, we have this input node of op M, which is 1.2 volt from the ground. So that will make this node 1.2 volt. And then because of VA and VB is the same, so the voltage node here will also be 1.2 volt. And because we connect this node to this node, so we will have this node is also 1.2 volt. And then we have this op M again. And again, because the voltage in the input terminal will always be the same so this is 1.2 volt this node is also 1.2 volt and that makes this node here is 1.2 volt okay that's good start very good start because we know the voltage here let's name this node as node a okay now we need to do kcl at node a And what does KCL say? KCL say that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, we have I0 going out from the node A. And I will assume this current will go in there. And this current is going inside to the op M. Okay, so now... In the node A, we don't have any current that goes in, so we just put zero in it. And then the sum of current that goes out, there are three currents that goes out. One, two, and three. The first one is going into the op M, and because of this property, it will be zero. And then plus this current that going here, which is VA minus the voltage in this node which is V0 divided by the resistance between them. So I will have 200 and then plus this current here. So that will equal to VA divided by 50. Okay, now we just need to plug that VA is 1.2 volt. So I will have 0 is equal to 1.2 minus V0 divided by 200 and then that we need to plug 1.2 into here so I will have 1.2 divided by 50 so I will have minus 1.2 over 50 is equal to 1.2 minus V0 divided by 200 or minus 1.2 multiplied by 200 divided by 50 will equal to 1.2 minus V0. And then we will have this cancel into 4. And I will have minus 4.8 is equal to 1.2 minus V0. So I will have V0 is equal to 1.2 plus 
0.8 and what does this result so i will have v0 is equal to 6 volt okay we have the first one that asks in the problem and then the second one asks for i0 so i0 we can calculate this easily by using Ohm's law, which is VA divided by 50. And remember that VA is 1.2 volt divided by 50 kilo ohm. And this is, what is this? Let's multiply this by 2, 2.4 over 100 which is 2.4 multiplied by 10 to the minus 2 and the unit the unit this is volt and this is this is volt and this is kilo ohm so we'll have milliampere or we can multiply this by 1000 so we will get i0 is 200 not 224 yeah because this is 2.4 multiplied by 10 which is 24 micro ampere so we have the final answer of the questions so we have v0 and we have i0 v0 is 6 volt and i0 is 24 micro ampere so hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation if you find this video helpful please like this video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for another content mostly solution of study cookbook uh, and thank you for watching